Hi there, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here today to show you the absolutely cutest little treat boxes. These are the mini curvy keepsake boxes. And Stampin' Up! last year had, for a couple of years, had a larger uh, curvy keepsake box, and they've come out with these little tiny ones. And I just have an array of them here that I want to show you that I've done. So I'm just going to show you. This is one for fall. And it's done with our Gather Together um, Designer Series paper and a pretty little bow. I'm going to put all the supplies down below so you can see down below the um, YouTube video so that you can see what I used. And I'm going to teach you how to do this in a little while. Um, how to do that little sentiment there. I'm gonna, and I'm going to show you the stamp set, but first I want to show you how cute these are. This is another one in red. This is our plaid, perfectly plaid designer series paper. This is one of the stamps in this set and some um, cute little ribbon. This one is for Halloween. Now they're all made the same. And I'm going to show you how easy they are. I've just shown you a lot of different ways here that you can decorate them. This is a little face, like a jack-o'-lantern face, from our Harvest Hello stamp set, stamped in uh, black, tuxedo black memento ink. Isn't that just a cute little guy? Now, I also heard that this year, um, they're using hot pink and black as Halloween colors. And pink is my favorite color, so I made one in hot pink and black. And I think that's kind of cute. Now, um, here's another fall one made with some pretty uh, linen ribbon that we have, flax kind of ribbon, and uh, some of the Gather Together Designer Series paper. And then here are the holiday ones. I made a very wild bow here with some shaded spruce and gold ribbon. Isn't that kind of crazy? And this paper um, is so adorable. And let me see what the name of it is. It is Let It Snow Specialty Designer Series Paper because it has the sparkly snowman. Uh, one side of every sheet has sparkles on it. So that is um, one of the holiday ones. Here's another one from the back side of one of those papers with some beautiful uh, striped candy cane striped ribbon that we have. Here's another one I've put, there are, I'm gonna show you in a minute. This is one of the sentiments and darling little tags that you can use. And this is the fanciest one. Um, this has some of our leaf ribbon tied on some dotted Swiss, a double bow, and a little sentiment there um, with a stitched uh, tag that says Mary Mary. Isn't that cute? So those are my samples for you. Now let's see exactly what the bundle entails. So you get the Tiny Keepsakes Cling Stamp Set, and it has these two stamps that you can use for the sides of your box if you want to. I didn't today because I wanted to show you all of our pretty designer series paper. But these are the sentiments that I've used. And they're, they're for all seasons, like Sweet Treat could be for Halloween, um, could be for Valentine's Day anytime. These two are clearly the holidays and for you anytime. And then this is the die set the mini curvy keepsake box dies. And this is the die. I'm gonna show you today how to use it. This is the die. So to make one curvy keepsake box, all it takes is a six, one, six by six piece of either cardstock or designer series paper. So it uses minimal paper and it's very easy to do. And then here are the adorable stitch dies. There's a heart kind of a circle ornament, square star oval. That's another little die. These are actually kind of leaves or branches. And here's another cute die. So you get a total of 10 dies in this set. And I'll tell you, it's very worth it. And you probably already know when you get a bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies, or if it was a punch, it would be a stamp set and a punch, you get an automatic 10% discount. So I, it's really a great value. 
Now I'm going to set these to the side. I'll show you in the catalog before we start making one. I'll show you in the catalog. They're on page 21 and this is the catalog page with the samples that they've done which are similar to my samples and the stamp set and then let me see nothing else there this is this is the paper that i used here so it's on page 21 of your 2019 holiday catalog so let's get started now i told you that it only takes a six by six piece of paper be it uh, cardstock or designer series paper and today I'm using the perfectly plaid uh, designer series paper because it comes in six by six pieces and I'm just going to tell you this is the quickest little treat box to make because if you've already got the paper cut six by six all you do is put your die on and I want to show you now remember you put your blades down these are the sharp blades right in here so you're going to put your blades down and you put it like an, at an angle like that and it fits right in your die machine. You run it through the die machine and I'll show you what comes out. Here's what you get. This little piece and it's already got slots and a little loop on the top. So let's put it together. Now I'm going to use my bone folder so that it goes together a little easier. Here are the score lines, and you're just, it's a little bit hard to see on this paper, um, but you, the score lines are just make a little box on the bottom so that it can sit down. And then the, the loop sides have a score mark also so that you can, um, and I'll show you for the little handle. And these I am definitely going to press with my bone folder, kind of burnish them with my bone folder. And that's basically, those are, the, those are the score lines. Now to make it turn out looking a little bit rounded like you saw mine, I just very lightly take my bone folder and my thumb and it only takes a couple of times curling it like that, each little side. And you see how it's making just a little curl. That's all you need on all four sides like that. Whoops. And then it goes together super easy. You're going to put the two handled sides together and hold the little handles together. And then you pull on top, pull the, one of the sides with the slats, and it just pulls right down. And there's a little indentation right down here where it just fits right in. And then you pull the other one over. Now, all together, that took us probably one minute. And if you already have the six by six paper, uh, pre-cut and get it you know in that size like with the perfectly plaid designer series paper all you have to do is you run it through the big shot or whatever your die cutting machine is and fold it and put it together it's super easy super quick if you're having a party for your children or your grandchildren um, or you want to give these to your office friends or your uh, church group or your knitting group um, now I'm gonna I wanted to see exactly what fits in here I know candy kisses fit in here but I actually do not have any candy kisses right at the moment I'm gonna just pull that out of there there we go so what I do have is these coffee Rios my husband and I love these things they're they're little coffee hard candies and so I thought I would see how many I could fit into this little box. So I guess actually I should um, put it somewhat back together to see how many I can get in there. So let's just start putting them in and we'll see. They might have to kind of stand up in there. What do you think? Maybe possibly three, possibly four. Let's go with three. We'll see if we can get three to go in there. Okay, we'll kind of stand them up. I think kisses might be actually easier. And we'll put our little, <laughs> well, maybe we're gonna put three sides together and then put our first fourth side on. So we'll put our one side over. Now let's stack them in there. Let's see, okay, it works. 
Perfect. Three coffee Rios. Okay. And we just pull that little thing down, and there we go. Whoops. What happened there? Uh oh. Our little side popped in. Okay. They are, they are a little, you know, you do have to be a bit gentle because they are just paper. But isn't that just the cutest? I just love that. I just, I love these. They're cute. And anyone would love getting it. Now, I did promise you I was going to show you how to do this one little uh, label here. So this is one of the sentiments in our set. It's for you. And all of these sentiments are really small. Uh, which is great because the mini Kirby keepsake box is very small. So I wanted to show you how I did that uh, because of course you can put it in any of the dies and I think the only one it might fit in is this one. But I decided to use our, cla um, I think it's called the classic label punch for it. And I'm going to show you how I made it smaller like that. You might have seen this technique. I think I've actually showed it a time or two. And I went ahead and stamped on a scrap piece. You can see I've used it, I used it the last time. This is Grapefruit Grove cardstock stamped with, um, this is Cajun Craze ink because that's the color right here, Cajun Craze. Oops, that just needs to go back down a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, so let's see how to do this. So first I'm going to let me see, how did I figure this out before? Okay, so I'm gonna line it up, line my cardstock up right in there and get the four close to the edge and then I'm gonna punch it. Okay, now take out my piece that I used and now what I'm going to do is put my little piece back in only this edge, okay? Only the edge I want shorter. And I'm going to put it in there and pull it. I'm pulling out the right edge right to where I want it to, to be. And I've got the rest is above the blades of the punch. So I'm just going to punch, and there it is. There's your little piece for you. Exactly what I used over here. And you can do that with all of your punches. Um, this one just worked out great because I like the way it did the ed the kind of the flagged ed edges. I thought it looked a little bit finished and it looked cute to give to a girlfriend maybe if I went to coffee with someone. So there they are, all the adorable, darling little mini Kirby keepsake boxes. I just think they're so sweet. And um, I would truthfully say candy kisses are the way to go. Here's the bundle. Um, and it's 10% off. I hope you'll shop with me. Peggy Noe, prettypapercards.com. I'll put all the links you need down below. And have a wonderful time giving treats this season, be it Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. You could even make some of these for Hanukkah. I think that would be fabulous too. So, whoops. So thank you so much for stopping by today and have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.